70 years ago, the new year had quite a surprise in store for Coronado, and to this day, the events of 1937 are still having an impact if you know where to look. 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence has the story. At first glance, a jogger might mistake it as simply debris on the beach. Fact is, for the most part, it's hard to see anyway, except at low tide. And only after the sands washed away. Two weeks ago, it was completely buried. Yeah. You, you know, you walk right over it. But this is no ordinary debris. It's what remains of the gambling ship, the Monte Carlo. 70 years ago, on New Year's Day, it broke free of its mooring in Mexican waters and washed ashore at Coronado. But on board, you could find everything that you couldn't find on shore. You could find illegal booze, illegal gambling, illegal prostitution. It was just the floating den of inequity. Now remember, in 1937, prohibition was in force. So when the booze-laden ship washed ashore, people staying at the Hotel Dell helped themselves to liquid treasure on the beach. And that's not all. Silver dollars and quarters were also found as they fell out of the slot machines. And rumor has it, there may be more. I haven't seen anything come off the wreck in many a year, but the theory is there's $100,000 in silver dollars that are still buried there. Which, of course, has those in the know coming at low tide to take a look. So, any luck? Not yet. But? Um, we're going to try and keep looking. I, Captain Jack Sparrow, would be pleased indeed. With photojournalist Jeremy Flint, Bob Lawrence, 10 News. Good luck there. The story of the Monte Carlo and its less than glorious past can be found at the Coronado Museum of History and Art. That's on Orange Avenue.